What's going on guys? It has been 13 days since my L45 microdiscectomy or discectomy, whichever you want to call it. I've heard it called both by both doctors and nurses. Besides the point. So I told you I was going to do a post-op video. Uh, yesterday I had my post-operation appointment with my surgeon and as you guys might have noticed in the last video, I was a little worried about some leg pain I was having that was different than the leg pain that I was having prior to surgery. In the past three days, my leg has hurt worse than it did prior to the surgery. So, going into this follow-up, I am hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. Everything I've read, this recovery is like a roller coaster, but the fact that my leg has been in so much pain over the past three days without any relief, the pain medication is not helping, nothing's helping the leg pain. Um, I'm expecting the worst. And the worst is him telling me that I re herniated that disc and I have to start the process all over again, which means try to do physical therapy and try to get epidural injections and if that doesn't work do surgery again what that surgery would be I don't know um, I don't know I just I don't think he'll have a whole lot of information for me today because he doesn't have a new MRI to look at so he's just basically gonna be going off what I tell him my pain is so when I told him about that he wasn't really sure what was going on with that. He basically attributed it to me not moving around enough and it will go away once I move around enough, hopefully. So, he changed my medication, he put me on some gabapentin, which is like a some type of nerve calming medication. Uh, supposed to make you drowsy. Took it last night. Took it this morning. Not really drowsy. So good to go there. But before I go into how I'm feeling today, after my post op, after the gabapentin, after everything, I want to talk about um, basically the roller coaster ride that I have been on emotionally and physically. Uh, the hardest thing about this, for me, has been the fact some days I'll feel good, other days I'll feel terrible. Like prior to this pain starting, I had a little bit of leg pain and then it would go away. A little bit of leg pain and then it would go away. Now it's three straight days of excruciating sciatic leg pain. And when I started getting that leg pain again, even though it wasn't the same as it was prior to surgery, uh, it it sucked. All I could think was, why did I do this? I could have lived with my previous pain. Why did I choose to have surgery if I'm still going to have this leg pain? So that was a real struggle for me. And even though I've been told by several people so many times, hey, you're still going to feel it every now and then because that nerve and there's so much going on in your lower back still because you just had surgery, all the inflammation. So things are going to be constantly changing. When you feel the leg pain go away, like I did, like day three through day five or six, and then you feel it come back, it's scary. It's scary. Uh... I just felt like I went through all this time and effort to get to surgery with the shots and everything. All I thought was, man, now I'm going to have to start all over and go through more shots, eventually getting surgery again to have this new problem with my leg fixed. This new, this new nerve that something's touching fixed. And that was scary. That was scary. Uh, but with that said, it is a roller coaster. So, what my surgeon 
said was I needed to move around more. I needed to walk around more. Originally, it was rest, rest, rest. So that's all I've been doing. I've literally been sitting on my butt and laying down, resting constantly. Which, um, at day 13, day 12, I guess, was my appointment. He said start walking. Start moving around. Uh, don't, don't lift anything yet, but start moving around. So, as soon as I got home, I walked for about 15 minutes around my neighborhood. Um, walked. Leg hurt throughout the walk. I was still having a shooting pain in my lower glute upper hamstring area. But I walked. Took that gabapentin. Uh, I'm also still on uh, oxycodone. And... Uh, he's also got me taking an 800 milligram ibuprofen right now. So, with that said, I woke up this morning at 6 a.m., took Chendo, my dog, for a walk for about probably another 15 minutes, 15, 20 minute walk. And it was still hurting throughout that. It hurt when I woke up this morning. Um, but I had to run some errands today. So, I've been up and moving around constantly. This is the first time I've sat down all day, and it's noon. I am feeling less and less leg pain since yesterday. Uh, so, I could attribute it to the medication. I can attribute it to me walking around and moving. I can attribute it to a lot of things. But, it's slowly going away. It hurts less when I stand up. It hurts less when I sit down. It did, I just started walking through the house up a step, and it didn't hurt at all when I went up that step. So, more of the story is, if you get a discectomy or back surgery, be strong mentally and be ready for a lot of ups and downs. And you might have less ups and downs than me, you might have more, but through the first 14 days, 13 days, 14 days, it's been like this. And I've tried to keep my emotions like this, but when you strive to get back to that active lifestyle, and that's basically one of the biggest reasons why you had your surgery, uh, it's, it's rough. It's not easy. Sorry guys, my camera ran out of memory. So, my next video will be probably a month out of surgery. So, I'll see you guys then. Hope this leg pain goes away. Thanks, guys.